So I finished Valis a few weeks ago. It's by Philip K. Dick. It's sci-fi and surprisingly semi-autobiographical. Now this book, unless you're a big sci-fi fan, I wouldn't recommend reading it. It's just super dense, hard to get through, hard to understand. Um, it's basically about a, a guy with schizophrenia and it's kind of Philip K. Dick writing about himself in a way. He kind of goes crazy and is hit by this pink light that gives him information and so he thinks he understands God and like the universe and a bunch of really weird theories about his spiritual beliefs. Now I don't know if Philip K. Dick himself was schizophrenic. I mean after reading some of his novels you're like wow this guy's a sci-fi genius and I wouldn't be kind of surprised if he was mentally disturbed. I know he struggled with a lot of drugs and stuff like that. Um, but as I was reading this, the premise just got so ridiculous and weird that I actually looked it up and it turns out that Philip K. Dick believes he was hit with this pink light and kind of had a spiritual awakening. I guess it told him like his son had some kind of digestive problem and he was able to be really specific with it and it turns out that he was right. So that's the part where I'm like, oh, well, okay, I don't know how else you'd know that unless you were a medical professional. That's incredibly intriguing. But, I mean, just let me read you like one thing from here that's just like so confusing to turn you off from it. It's just like, yet by regarding benign people as micro forms of God, fat at least remained in touch with a good God, not a blind, cruel, or evil one that point should be considered. Fat had a high regard for God. If the Logos was rational and the Logos equaled God, then God had to be rational. This is why the fourth gospel statement about the identity of the Logos is so important. Kaithios in Hologos, which is to say, and the word was God. The whole book is actually a lot more confusing than what I just read. But I'm glad I read it, because um, it's I'm writing a story about a girl who's schizophrenic, so I wanted to read Philip K. Dick's take on it, and I am reassured that my story is nothing like this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I really love Philip K. Dick, but I'm, after this, I'm like, man, you crazy. So, yeah, I really, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, if you like Lovecraft, you might like this, because they're both very dense and hard to get through, but I'm definitely not having sex with this book.